You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. We're going to be talking next to uh, Michael live in the studio this evening and uh, he's going to be telling us all about the island performing uh, arts. Uh, firstly, Michael, it's uh, good to speak to you. Hello, yeah, thank you very much. I was wondering, perhaps, if you could tell us uh, what does the island performing arts actually do? Um, Island Performing Arts, uh, we have a variety of acting um, and dance classes and a theatre school. Um, For the dance classes, we have a range of ballet and tap classes, as well as a street dance and cheerleading class. And recently we've started up a new mini movement class for uh, children of like one year up to about three or four. Um, We have an acting course as well, which um, gets the, uh, the kids can go for a Trinity college um, acting exam which gives them a qualification Um, in addition to that we have a theatre school um, on a Saturday as well So what is your role actually at the uh, Island Performing Arts Michael? I'm the managing director of the company Um, although I didn't actually set up Island Performing Arts it was set up by uh, Mandy Russell um, who has uh, about a year ago moved to Australia um, and I took over to keep it up and running uh, to keep the classes going um, so I don't actually do any of the teaching myself, but I'm there uh, supporting supporting the, the staff and uh, running the company. I understand that uh, the All Stars Theatre School are working on a homemade uh, musical at the moment. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we um, we uh, suggested to the to the students um, after our Christmas show um, that we wanted to try and do a a, a little musical for the summer, and um, we asked the students at All Stars to put together a list of musicals they would like to base their musical on. Um, We ended up getting a list of six musicals, um, being Shrek the Musical, High School Musical, Grease, Billy Elliot, The Lion King and Wicked. Um, And from that we've taken characters and musical numbers from um, from those six musicals and with the help of the students we're putting together our own musical which we've called Shrek Through the Musicals which as you can probably guess is mainly about um, Shrek and Donkey. So uh, are you looking for new students then? Um, Yeah we've always got room um, for for new students both at the theatre school and at the um, acting course and dance class, uh, sorry dance um, classes um, with the theatre school, although we are halfway through putting on or preparing the um, production, there's always room to add extra characters and, and build out the uh, the production if anyone wants to come and join us. Uh, can you tell us uh, a bit more about Sheerness Community Arts, Michael? Yes, um, in uh, in the summer uh, just gone, um, I decided to set up a, a new company called Sheerness Community Arts, which is a community interest company. Um, the idea for that was that we could uh, take over a, a hall um, which would become a, a community uh, a community arts centre um, which island performing arts do actually have all their classes coming out of that um, out of that centre um, in addition to that we're we're looking at other sort of um, community things as well as renting out the the space um, to people who want to use it for other arts uh, events and things. Um, we're also looking to try and raise money to bring in um, scholarships um, and things like that for students who can't otherwise afford to uh, to take part in uh, sort of arts activities on the island. Now uh, I understand you're working towards uh, raising um, funds to um, sort of run uh, scholarships and uh, grants. Yeah, as I say, it's uh, something that we're looking at looking at doing. Um, we're looking at sort of doing some either fundraising events, uh, looking to apply for grants, and looking for local businesses that may want to sponsor us um, to build up a pot of money. So, um, if there are students out there who want to do acting, singing, dance, or any other kind of art um, that's out there but can't afford to go and do the classes, um, the idea is that we can we can support them with that. Now, uh, earlier on you were talking all about uh, the musical. Um, did you mention the uh, dates? I was wondering if you could just mention them quickly for yes, us. Yes, certainly. Um, the the actual show um, is going to be at Sheppey Little Theatre. Um, there are two performances. One is at 6pm on Saturday the 29th of June 
um, and the other one is at 1.30 p.m. on Sunday the 30th of June. Um, the tickets are available at £5 each, um, which you can get through us either from our website um, or via contacting us on, on our uh, contact details, our telephone or email. Now, uh, I know you wanted to cover uh, how you are offering uh, an exchange programme at the moment. Yes, that's right. I, I mentioned earlier that um, Island Performing Arts was set up by Mandy Russell. Um, she, as I said earlier, has now moved over to Australia and has actually set up a new company called South Australia Performing Arts. Um, and one of the things that, uh, in communication with each other, we decided we're trying to sort of sort of keep each other involved in, in uh, each other's projects. One of the things we thought would be a great opportunity um, is to offer an opportunity for students, for our students, to go over to Australia um, and work with South Australia Performing Arts and for the students from over there to come over and, and work with us um, in Sheppey. So uh, how do you actually uh, fundraise? Um, fundraising in general, um, at the moment we, we do a, like a number of, of raffles and things like that sort of in-house. Um, I am looking at um, holding regular events, things like uh, quiz nights, and race nights and things like that um, hasn't quite got off the ground yet um, ideally it, one of the things we are hoping um, hoping to do is to set up a like a little committee so we can have a group of people helping us to do things like the fundraising so I know you wanted next to talk a little bit about acting courses yes um, we've uh, as we said earlier we run a, a, an acting class which um, allows the students to um, take a, an acting exam with Trinity College. Um, we had our uh, recent set of exams just before Easter um, and we're really pleased to to be able to say that um, we've maintained our 100% pass rate. It's the full set of exams and the kids have, have done us proud um, as they do uh, as they do every time we have the exams. Um, one thing that we have decided um, to sort of like break from just concentrating on uh, going towards the exams for the next term, the uh, the students are going to be working on a um, on a, a drama piece that they're going to be putting into our dance academy show, um, which is taking place on the thirteenth and fourteenth of July. Um, that show is going to be at St George's Primary School rather than at the um, Sheppey Little Theatre this time round. Um, so that's that's what they're going to be working on for the next term. I was wondering before you uh, go, Michael, if you could just refresh us of all those uh, contact details and uh, I think you wanted to mention um, the other um, play as well. Yes, um, we. Uh, you can contact us on um, either of our two phone numbers. We've got 01795 228022 or the mobile number which is 07816. Nine eight nine three nine seven. Um, you can email us on info at islandperformingarts.co.uk, um, and obviously on our website, which is www.islandperformingarts.co.uk, uh, you'll find all the information on there about the classes we offer, the shows that are coming up, um, and as I said before, there is a, a section on there where you can actually book your tickets through the website as well. Michael, I'd like to thank you uh, very much for coming along this evening and uh, telling us all about Ireland Performing Arts and uh, some of the things you're involved in at the moment. Thank you very much.